that is the source and the strength of my life. According to the ancient spiritual principles of Maya, the sacred laws of God developed by our African ancestors, our human destiny is to become vehicles of God in the world. The impetus to move upward from the mundane existence to the higher expressions of divinity and become our best selves at first comes from the challenges and the difficulties that we encounter in our lives. Throughout all of our trials and challenges, we automatically inherit divine protection if we carry the realization that we are one with God. Our ancestors would say something like, God will never put more on you than you can bear. This is a simple way of understanding that regardless of what dilemma we face in this life, God has already given us the wherewithal to get through What we're going through at this moment, we will get through it. Faith is our sword. Trust in the Most High is our shield, and we are clothed with the whole armor of God. In this life, we are destined to go through some experiences, some experiences of difficulty and some experiences of ease, some experiences of loss and some of success, but all for the sake of realizing our own divine nature. In seeking divine protection in life, we must first clarify what it is that we're seeking protection from. Typically, it is suffering that bothers people. If we would seek peace in the face of adversity, then suffering does not necessarily follow the evil that comes against us. What you must fully embrace, brothers and sisters, is the realization that as long as you are anything less than the vehicle of God, you will go through experiences that will make you suffer as to spur you toward your own spiritual realization. We must learn to look at life from the perspective of our inner divinity rather than from our mundane reality. In John 10, 30, Jesus says, I and the Father are one. I and the Father are one. That simple scripture ought to remind us that whenever we find ourselves going through some suffering, then we have to realize that it is our own alienation from God that intensifies our sense of suffering. When we realize that we are one with God, we focus not on suffering, but on getting through. I want you to meditate on this statement today. As long as I am one, with all, divine protection and power are always available to me. As long as I am one with all, divine protection and power are always available to me. As long as I am one with all, divine protection and power are always available to me. Ashe and Amen.